coming up on this episode of the new fly fisher we are on the mighty mighty the unbelievable niagara river fishing browns steelhead and lakers this unbelievably big fish adventure starts right now on the new fly fisher On this episode, we visit one of the seven wonders of the world, Niagara Falls. Most people know of the tourist attractions of the area, but few know it's located smack dab in the center of some of the best fishing Southern Ontario has to offer. We've chosen to fish the lower Niagara River, not far downstream from the falls and the whirlpool. Joining us today is veteran guide Aldo Nava. Aldo has expressed a keen interest in fly fishing, so we invited him to string up his fly rod and show us how it's done. This should be fun. I love this river. Oh, I love this river. This river has something for everybody all season long. You can literally fish it 365 days a year. Fish. Good one. Right away, first drift, how fun is that? Yep. We haven't been fishing for 10 minutes or are we hooked into one, huh? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's really great. Now you set up with a with a stone fly and an egg, so I'm going to add. I've just got an egg on right now, but I think I'm going to add a, a minnow pattern. You know the Niagara River is fantastic for multi-species all season long, and now in December, you know it is prime time for what we like to call the Niagara Slam, right? Lakers, steelhead, and Browns. But in order to complete the slam, you know, really they have to be over 10 pounds. This guy doesn't quite get there. <laughs> I, I, I always say it about every program, I haven't met a fish I don't like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there we go. Great little brown trout, took the stone fly, the bottom fly. Perfect start of the day. Nice fish. Fantastic, yeah. clean, clean, clean. And away he goes. One of the things to keep in mind when you come fishing in Ontario in the Niagara region is to talk to your guide, like Aldo here, to make sure you know where you're gonna be fishing. You see, this side of the river is Canada, this side of the river is United States. The guides like to fish both sides and are licensed to do so. You need to make sure that you're also licensed to fish in Ontario and in the US. Fish? Sweet. Don't worry, Bill, I'll get my hands wet on this one. <laughs> you just keep fishing, okay? I just keep fishing. <laughs> oh, that's a better one. Yeah, it's got some another thickness brown? to it. Yeah, another brown. Same size? A little bigger. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. You think he's ready? Just pass, give me some leader. There we go. Now I want to show you guys something. So that's what all these fish are in here eating, are brown trout eggs. Now I'm gonna let her go so that she can stop emptying herself. Exploring Ontario's fishing opportunities need not be expensive. On this trip, we rented nice, comfortable rooms at the Best Western Plus in Niagara Falls, Ontario. This facility is very close to the Canada-US border and only 15 minutes from our launch ramp. In addition to outstanding in-room amenities, the hotel is located close to a variety of dining and entertainment options. With the central location on historic Lundy's Lane in the heart of a vibrant neighborhood of restaurants, bars, theaters, and Niagara Falls attractions.
Well, what a difference a day makes. Um, two days before we arrived, you know, the visibility on the Niagara River was a minimum of eight feet. Fishing yesterday, you know, it was two to three feet. And visibility is the key on this river. It was a west wind the day before yesterday, which caused Lake Erie to blow up and blow a whole bunch of sediment into the river. Last night, the wind direction changed and the water's cleared up tremendously. We've got great visibility. It should be a fantastic day. The technique we're using today is, is, is the dead drift bottom bounce. Uh, we did have uh, in, strike indicators on earlier, but that we, we weren't getting down deep enough, I don't feel. So we, uh, we added a little bit of weight and uh, two fly set up. All I'm doing is casting and letting it sink. And then Aldo is controlling the boat with an electric trolling motor. So we go exactly the same as the current. So my line is upright like this, up stri straight like that. It looks like I'm, I'm just sitting there with a worm, worm and a bobber, but it's not. Everything's moving down, down there on the bottom, and I'm trying to feel the, the bottom tick every once in a while. Now, we're, we, we, we call it a reaction strike. You get a, all of a sudden a pull, it might be a snag, but it could be the biggest fish of your life. So you set the hook on everything. You might lose a fly or two, but it's worth it in the end for the fish that are here. Job, Aldo. Yeah, Aldo. All right. Give it a little slack, Aldo, and I'll uh, grab the leader here. That's the beautiful thing about this fisher is that you can catch quality browns like this in the wintertime. It's amazing. Now the setup that I'm using is a real challenge to cast. I'll show you here. I've got three big split shot and two flies and quite a long leader. Uh, makes casting a real challenge. Now what I've been doing in order to cast this is called a water load and all that is I get an, whatever amount of line I want to cast out below me and I reach back, touch the water with my flies and then let them go. That's about as pretty as you, your cast you're gonna get. It's, it's not pretty at all. It's not your normal overhead cast. It's what we call a chuck and duck. Again, I'll do it one more time for you. Get what I want out underneath me here. Rise up, touch the water, and cast like that. The water will pull on your line, bend your rod. That, that way you can actually cast the rig itself. Got a fish? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Aldo's the man, man. <laughs> Clinic or what, Aldo? Oh my goodness. <laughs> my wife gave me a kiss this morning. There you go. It's dogging you down a bit, huh? Yeah. She tells me it's a brown trout then. Again on the uh, on the streamer. Yeah. On the streamer, right? Eh? Woo! Good what? going, Mark. Fantastic <laughs> fish. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh man! Man, you gotta come. You gotta come to Niagara Falls. Yep. The Niagara region is unbelievable. <laughs> And he let go, and I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> that was. Yeah. Don't know which one it was on, but that was something. Uh, <laughs> we're just dead drifting. That's all we're doing is 
is letting the fly go to the bottom and bouncing it along the bottom. Uh, earlier in the, in, in the day we tried with indicators, but uh, we found that you got to get right to the bottom. The fish, the active ones anyways, are feeding near the bottom. And we're in right now in 17 feet of, uh, of water, so bottom bouncing is probably the only thing that's, that's really makes sense. The Niagara River is a year-round fishery. In the summertime, we catch bass, pike, muskie, walleye. In the wintertime, uh, from November till April, we can catch steelhead, browns, lake trout, as well as walleye. It's a great year-round fishery. I've been in business for close to 20 years. We fish the Niagara River as well as Lake Ontario. So in the summertime, we troll for salmon and trout on Lake Ontario. And in the wintertime, uh, from October till April, we fish drift fishing in this boat. And uh, if you'd like to book a trip with me, I, it's probably best to book at least a couple months in advance. It's a big brown. It's a big brown. No, it's a steelhead. Nice man, good fish, clean fish, look at that. What a good looking fish, Aldo. Look at, look at the kipe on his jaw. Beautiful right. fish. Nice male, good fish. That is amazing. Now the fly selection for this trip were, were easy. Egg patterns or streamers, one or the other. Uh, we were using this bead type of egg pattern, and I'll talk about how I attached them in a second. But we, there's our natural color, there's some light pink, some yellow. We were using chartreuse, and we're using uh, um, fluorescent orange ones too. So bead pattern egg patterns. Also using woolly buggers as one of our streamers. And woolly buggers work about everywhere. They'll, they'll imitate either a stone fly or a leech, one of the two. I got them in black, I got them in olive, and I got them in white. And on the back fly, pink was the hot color. So we were using these bunny leeches on the back, but in pink seemed to be the hot color. Now what I've done is I managed to get this bead, uh, these beads that they're using on the, on the hook itself. Well, how I did that, I simply took a uh, Bic lighter and he heated up the shank of the hook, took the bead and pushed it on, let it harden, and then I turned it over and I used UV knot sense with a UV light to seal it. And it worked like a charm. Now they're right on the, on the hook itself. For many people, mending just comes naturally. They've been fishing long enough that they know whether to mend upstream or downstream in any given situation. Well, if you ever have trouble understanding how to mend and when to mend, our good friend Bill Spicer put it to me very perfectly. He said, it's very simple. With the waters in front of you that's slow, you mend down. If the water in front of you is fast, mend up. The way I remember it is simple. In a car, you never speed down, you always speed up. In a car, you never slow up, you always slow down. So if it's slow in front of you, go downstream. If it's fast in front of you, go up. Fish on. Sweet. This looks like a decent fish. Now, Aldo is, he's bottom bouncing. And what that just means is enough weight to get down to the bottom and he's ticking the bottom and just waiting for something to pull back. And oh my. Big steelhead, big steelhead. Good fish, big fish. You got him well purchased. How do you like? How do you like that? That. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic fish. What a stud steelhead. Good job, man. Fantastic work. 
man. What a fantastic Thank fish. Good awesome. job. Thanks. Showing us all up, man. It's perfect. <laughs> I'm fine with that. That was a fantastic fish, huh, my Mark? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I look at all the Great. fish we're marking here now. Yeah. Too. That's <laughs> it. We're into them. We're into them. Yep. Let's go get some more. One of the things that you need to keep in mind when you're fishing in the fall and the winter months is this equipment, the equipment that's on your person, on your body. So what I do is I always start wool hat, keep your hands or your head warm. The core is what's key. On the outside, I've got a full survival suit. This also acts as a life jacket, a floater suit. So if I do fall in, everything's fine. But my layering system is smart and the layering system is key to staying warm. Underneath my insulating layer, which is this layer, which is my polypropylene fleece, is a wicking layer, which takes moisture away from the body and moves it to the outside of the garment, which means that you don't get cold. Even when you're wet or damp, the wicking properties of this shirt will take the moisture to the outside so that your body stays dry and your body stays warm. Fish on. Now, I was with a egg fly and a minnow pattern, and I decided to go with two egg flies. And that did the trick. We got about halfway through our run here, and I'm hooked up. It feels like a brown. I'm, it's just big head shakes, but not really doing a whole lot. Yeah, it's a brown trout. They fight hard. The, the fish here in the Niagara River are all muscle. Good man. In the net we go. Sweet fish. There's what you can get, a little piece of muscle. Now I feel better. <laughs> I feel better. I was getting a little discouraged, but I feel better. But that's just the way the Niagara is. One day it can be hot, the next day it can be off. Don't give up. Uh, when we first got here, we ran into dirty water, but now the next day it cleaned up and, we, and, the, and the fishing started picking up and it's picked up steadily as we've gone along. So perseverance is what, what's needed here on the Niagara. Now the setup we were running on this trip was simple. It's a bottom bouncing setup using a floating line to a 15 to 20 foot leader. Now that sounds daunting, but it can be done. We had a two fly setup Two egg flies on this one, but we were changing the bottom fly from an egg to a streamer at times, and that was working. Uh, here we got two, two egg flies that are about 16 to 18 inches apart. Then up here, we have a whole pile of split shot. We got like three, six, there's eight split shot there. You need that much to get down. The water here is very turbulent and deep, and if you don't have enough, it won't get to the bottom, and that's where the feeding fish were. They weren't in the water column at all. Right now, the, it's cold, cold water, so the fish are staying low, and that's where we had to go to get them. So, floating line, 15 to 20 foot leader, lots of split shot, two fly setup. All right, Aldo. We started off with a bang this morning with browns and steelhead. Things got a little quiet when the, uh, when the sun came out mid-afternoon, but now that it's in the afternoon, it's, um, it's actually a good omen that Aldo's got another fish on for us. Oh, and look at it, it's a big brown. Yes, it is. It's a big brown. Dynamite. Oh. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. That is sweet. Now that's a really nice fish. Good job, man. It's a fantastic fish. They're such Beautiful. pretty, pretty animals. I love the colors on them. They're just, there's no fish that looks like that. No. And away he goes. That is fantastic. What an absolutely perfect day. Was Thanks awesome. very much for everything, man. <laughs> Thanks a lot. That was awesome. <laughs> Wasn't that great? Aldo put on a proper clinic for us. <laughs> hey, I'm okay. We had a great day. I had a lot of fun. We did. You know, uh, any day out in, a, out in a, the river or lake is, yeah. is perfect for me. So 
Uh, we highly recommend Aldo uh, for your next trip on, on the Niagara River. For more information on this show and others in our series, visit us on the web at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at the New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. Tight lines, we'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Mark Mellick from the New Fly Fisher Television Show. If you enjoyed that video, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe today. Also, we're uploading new videos all the time, so hit the bell to be notified when the next one goes up.